ATYT Nation, this is Mind Over Mana, and I'm here to talk about another one of my least favorite brain myths out there. This one unfortunately popping up in a clip from the Young Turks uh, in a video entitled Half Head Man Mugshot an Interview from February 17th, 2012. It featured a man who had lost uh, a significant section of his head in an accident, and uh, Jank and Anna talked about how he was remarkably high functioning for losing so much part of his brain, which is absolutely true, but then they went a little too far and mentioned the annoying factoid of how we only use 10% of our brains. This is patently untrue, and uh, I'd like to take a few moments to explain why that's the case. Here we have two pictures of the brain. The left we've got the exterior, and on the right we can see the limbic system on the interior. And each section of the brain has its own unique function. For instance, the occipital lobe in orange. This is Phineas P. Gage, a name that should be familiar to anyone who studied psychology or neuroscience. He's something of a famous case. In uh, 1848, on September 13th, Mr. Gage was uh, the foreman on uh, an American railroad and he managed to survive a, a small explosion in which a steel rod was forced through his head. Uh, the reason his eye is shut is due to the injury. And uh, miraculously, he pulled through. Ordinarily, you'd think a rod would kill a man, but Gage managed to survive, and his survival is often touted as, as an example of how the brain is capable of recovering even from severe physical trauma. Following his accident, many of his friends and family remarked that Gage had undergone um, a bit of a transformation. He went from being a likable, affable young fellow to being something of an asshole. I mean, if you had a pipe blown through your head, you might get a little snippy, but it was deemed a bit extreme in Gage's case, and... Uh, it really cost him socially. However, over time, Gage sort of recovered that old personality he lost, and it really showed how the brain is a really amazing organ that can recover from even severe injuries. It's, it's incredibly plastic and can modify itself to fit a wide array of functions. I mean, the brain is primarily composed of neurons. In fact, it's entirely composed of neurons and those neurons have a way of reorganizing themselves and reshaping themselves to accommodate those severe traumas. But it's examples like this that make people think that we're really only using 10% when in reality we are using all of our brain and when a section of it is damaged or even removed the other sections of your brain will e engage their plasticity to compensate and provide those functions you may have lost. Now this doesn't happen in every single case as anyone who's seen a stroke victim will tell you, but with a lot of work and with some people helping you out, it is possible to recover from even the severest of brain injuries to limited or even full potential. So, I really hope that cleared her repeat the 10% of your brain fallacy. Love science.